Hello and welcome to Let's Learn C++ Lesson 1.1. As I said earlier, I'm going to be talking about comments today. Now, comments may sound useless in what they actually are, but they're actually one of the most necessary things in a program. Uh, but before I get started with it, allow me to define a comment. And I'll show you some examples. So, comment is a programmer's method of documenting his own code. It is denoted differently in most languages. So, basically, a comment is used to... Uh, remind a programmer exactly what his code is doing, what he's using something for, and how he's going about his algorithms and whatnot. So, there are a few different types of uh, comments. Two of them are different types. One of them is just another type of the same type of comment. Uh, but a line comment is a comment that only covers a single line. A block comment is a comment that engulfs multiple lines of code. And then a beauty comment, <laughs> simply a block comment that has been formatted to stand out and be more eye appealing to the programmer. And I'll show you a few of the examples right now. So you can see we have a simple program right here. All it does is output three lines, pause, and then end. So the main chunk is just the C out statements. We have comments are great. I use them all the time. You should too. So when I run this, you'll see we get all three output. Comments are great. I use them all the time. You should too. So now what about if I want to comment one of these lines? So a comment, when you actually use a comment, in the program, whenever, whenever it compiles, if the compiler uh, hits a comment, it'll completely skip the comment. So comments are just skipped over. They're not, um, uh, what is it? They're not compiled by the compiler. They're just completely missed, ignored, if you will. So say I comment out this line. And to comment out, a line comment is slash slash. You can see the entire line turned green, meaning that it's now a comment. So if I recompile this and run it again, you'll see comments are great, you should too. Now if you remember correctly, it said I use them all the time on the second line. Well, comments are great, and then it comments out, I use them all the time. So it's no longer compiled, so it doesn't do that anymore. And then it just goes straight to you should too. So let's see if I comment out you should too also. And compile it again. Please excuse my very slow dual core processor. Comments are great is the only thing that's said now. Because I commented out both of those lines. So you can see the uh, potential use in using comments already. Is you can comment out lines, try and figure out where a bug is. Comments are a very useful way of uh, debugging a program because you can get rid of code without actually getting rid of it because you can just simply add it back in by getting rid of the slashes. And you'll see if I recompile it, all three lines are all back. So you can run, run it again. So that's a line comment. Now let me show you a block comment. A block comment, as I said, engulfs multiple lines of code. So if I do a single line comment, you can see it only makes that one line turn green. But watch when I do a block comment. A block comment is slash asterisk. And you can see everything after it, all the way down to the last line, is now green. It's all commented out. But a block comment has to know where to end as well as where to start. So I'm just going to comment out these first two lines. To end a block comment, you just reverse the beginning. Instead of slash asterisk, it's asterisk slash. And you can see now only these two lines are commented and everything else is in. So if I compile this, you'll see all it says is you should too because everything else is commented out. So now that I have both of those in, let me show you some uses. Some uses of these, let's say... A lot of programmers, whenever they start a program, they'll put a block comment at the top. It's just like that. Now, what the heck are you going to put in there? Well, they put information about the program. They put the title program, or sorry, not the title program, the title of the program. This, the pro title of this program is Lesson 1-1. One, one. Uh, they'll put the name of the programmer, me. They'll put the date it was created, 5, 8, 12, oh, no, I had that backwards, 8, 5, 12. 
And then I'll also put the purpose of the program. Demonstrate comments to the YouTubes. And so now, anytime they come into the program, they'll see when it was created. Which is, so then they can see how long uh, it's been worked on. They can see the title of the program, and they can see who made it. And you can put whatever information you want in here. Just whatever you want to know about your own program. You can take notes about your program. Like say I have a complex algorithm. I would take notes inside a comment. Um, another good, good way is using functions. You can document all of your functions. And that's really highly suggested. But anyway, let me show you the last type of comment. The beauty comment. Now, as I said, it's just simply a block comment that's been formatted to be more appealing. Well, there's there's endless ways you can do this. Uh, one of the most simplest one is what I call the the stem uh, comment, and it's simply I, I call it that because it looks like a stem leaf blot. And it's simply this. Oops. Simply that. See how you have like a stem, and then your leaves are the information and everything. That looks more appealing, right? Or you can do this also. Oops. I'm just going to copy this. So now you have almost a complete box around it. You can box things in. You can do whatever the heck you want with your with your comments to make it look more appealing. A lot of times I'll do something like this just just to say this is important. <laughs> important. And that's how I, I denote something that's important. And then I'll put the important information right here. Or important code. So you can do whatever the heck you want with your comments. Just be creative with them. But know that commenting your programs is one of the most important things that you can do. And you'll see me do that a lot in the future. It's taking notes in my program. Yeah, you thought you got out of taking notes when you got out of school. Yeah, right. Doing it forever. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to show you some some good uses of a program or of, of comments. Some like what's a good comment, what's a bad comment. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my program and just ignore all the stuff at the top. Just focus on what I'm typing right here. So I'm gonna, first I'm going to show you an example of a bad comment. Okay, so the bad comment. You can see we have a piece of code here, site equals zero. So this is possibly, it's part of a game. So maybe the character just drank, I don't know, a potion of blindness, and they can't see anything now. So we set the value of their site to zero, so the player can't see anything when they play the game. So now, to comment that, you could do a bad comment. You could say, set site Oops, set site range to zero. Well, that is a bad comment. Set site range to zero. Well, we can easily tell that we're setting the site range to zero just by looking at the code, site equals zero. So why not make it a good comment and tell us why it's being set to zero? So, oops, why did I do that? Here's a good comment. Oops, make this a little, there we go. Good, oh, wow. Good comment. So if we have the same code, site equals zero, a good comment would be player drank a potion of blindness and can't see. So now we know exactly why they can't see, why we're setting the site equal to zero, rather than just reiterating exactly what our code is saying to us. Now another good way to use a comment is uh, to explain really complicated things like uh, a lot of times programmers will have to choose to solve a problem using one method or another method or another method there's tons of methods to solve different problems so you'll have to choose one method to do that 
So a comment can be used to yourself, used to remind yourself exactly why you chose that method. So let's say we decided to use a linked list instead of an array because arrays do insertion too slowly. So you can see that this is telling us why we used a linked list instead of an array. Now you probably don't know what a linked list is or an array is, but you get the gist. We decided to use this. We decided to use A because instead of B, because B is too slow and we want it quicker. Another good example is <laughs> we're going to use Newton's method to find the root of a number because oops, there is no deterministic way to solve these equations. So Newton, Newton's method as opposed to some other mathematical method to, to finding the root of a number. So we're going to use Newton's method because there is no deterministic way to solve this equation. Um, and no, I'm not coming up with these off the top of my head. I have these written down. <laughs> I would never be able to come up with that off the top of my head. Anyway, so I hope you gained a little bit of information about good comments, bad comments, how to use comments, and where to use comments, and also the importance of comments. So I implore you to use them as much as you can because it is one of the best habits that you can be in as a programmer. Most programmers don't comment their code, and that hurts them in the long run. So start now, comment your code, document it, do whatever you have to, just do it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.